What is up Flutter devs? Today we're going to figure out how to draw triangles in our continuing port of processing to Flutter. Let's get into it. Here we are back with the processing specification. We've been working on things in this 2D primitives group and today we are going to take a look at the triangle. The standard processing API for a triangle essentially takes in three pairs of numbers or three XY coordinates, the first point, the second point, and the third point, and then draws lines between those points. So let's read the description and make sure we have the obvious understanding of, of what this triangle procedure does. A triangle is a plane created by connecting three points. The first two arguments specify the first point, the middle two arguments specify the second point, the last two arguments specify the third point. That's essentially what I just told you, so that all seems to be in line. And what I'm looking for here is any indication that we need to worry about other settings when drawing a triangle, and it doesn't look like we do. Uh, based on previous work that we've done, it seems clear that the fill paint should be used to fill, the stroke paint should be used to stroke, and those should operate the way they normally do. There's only one test case, or at least one demo case for triangles, it seems. But uh, what we're going to do is follow our typical process here. We have a pattern going. We have a procedure that we use to implement this stuff. It's been working so far, so we're going to stick with it. And the first step in that procedure is to take this exact call right here and implement it in a test before we even implement the capability itself. Let's come back to the code. Uh, for those of you just joining or those of you that don't remember, we have the capability to draw a number of things already, like squares, rectangles, I believe we did circles, and every one of those drawing commands or functions has a corresponding test case. And what this test case does is it paints, it, it takes the behavior that we implemented, in this case, for example, drawing a rectangle, and it actually draws the pixels to a file, and then as time goes by, we can run this test whenever we want to make sure that the exact same pixels are painted the way we expect them to be painted. This means that we essentially want to take this test right here and replicate it, but for a triangle instead of a rectangle. So I'm going to copy this golden test. I'm going to come down here to the bottom of the list and I'm going to paste it. Instead of rect, this is triangle, example one. And we want to rename this test file down here to triangle example one instead of rect. And then we want to actually call the API that we believe should exist. We don't want to call rect because we're not drawing a rectangle. We want to call triangle. The question is, what should it take to define a triangle? What do we want to pass in? We've been using a lot of named parameters, but in this case, there really isn't much need for named parameters we know that we're going to take in three points and uh, it doesn't matter what order those points are in. They don't need to be clockwise or counterclockwise or anything like that. So we can simply accept essentially point one, point two, and point three. Let's come back really quickly as grab these numbers in this call because we want to use the same numbers. I'll stick those in a comment for reference. What, what we would like the triangle method to do is take in three offsets. So we can say offset 30 comma 75, offset 58 comma 20, offset 86 comma 75. This is what we'd like to support. If we can implement this, then we have triangle implemented and it should produce, if we implement it correctly, our golden test should produce an image that is very, very similar to what we see here in the specification. Let's go implement it. So again, S dot triangle, S is short, it, it represents the sketch that we're being given, the sketch that has the API that we can call all these methods upon, which is implemented here. So rect, you'll remember, is something that we've already implemented. We also have square, we have circle, so we just want to add triangle into this list. I'm going to copy square just to give us a starting point, and we'll take it from there. So we want this to be called triangle, if I can spell it right. And then we're going to take in point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3. 
Generally, I'm not in favor of single letter variable names, but in this case, because all of these points are the same kind of thing, and it should be pretty obvious, and I still didn't spell it right, gee. And it's, uh, it's pretty obvious what these points are. In this case, P1, P2, P3, I think are fine. What we now need to do is we need to draw, in the case of Flutter, we need to draw a path. Because I'll verify this, but I don't believe that the canvas understands what a triangle is. So we can, in, in kind of a natural way, a primitive way, we can draw a circle, arc, atlas we won't get into. We can fill a space with color, image, line, oval. You'll see that there is, there is no triangle here. I mean, we have a rectangle, we have rounded rectangle. We don't have a triangle, which means what we want is draw path. We'll create a path with a triangle, and then we will draw that path. We'll get the stuff out of here and we will say final path equals path move to P1 DX, P1 DY. We are placing the initial drawing position at the first point X and Y value. Then we're going to say line to P2 DX, P2 DY. Then a line to P3 DX, P3 DY. And then we're going to close the path back to the original point, which is what encloses our triangle. That's the third line. We now need to draw this path twice. We need to draw it once for the fill color and once for the stroke color. Canvas, draw path, path with the fill paint. Draw path, path with the stroke paint. And again, I'm going to put these little pointless comments in here because it prevents the auto formatter from pushing that all into one line. But notice that our drawing behavior, our painting behavior, so to speak, is the same as for rectangle. This is going to be something that repeats itself for everything that has a fill and a stroke. We draw the fill, then we draw the stroke. We draw the fill, then we draw the stroke. But this, theoretically, is the implementation we want for triangle. If we go back to our test, Notice that the red squiggly is gone, which means the pseudocode that we wrote before is now real code. It compiles. And so now we can run this test and see if it produces the golden that we expect. So we'll say flutter test update goldens plain name triangle. That should be that should be the only name that we that gets triggered there. Uh, but just in case, let's specify the exact file. So test shape 2D, because anytime that you say update goldens, if you accidentally run other golden tests, you're going to replace their golden file and it's possible that you save a bad version and now your code is broken and your tests aren't telling you what you think they are and that's a whole mess. But I think this should work. Let's see. Okay, it says all tests pass. Come here to Goldens. There's a new file. And there it is. When we're comparing this file to this image, to me, looks to be the same. As always, it's possible that our anti-aliasing algorithm is a bit different, so there might be some kind of fringe differences. But overall, I believe that we have achieved the goal we were looking for. And so we have triangle implemented. And in the next video, we will continue with whatever the next shape or, or 2D primitive uh, looks to be interesting. And I'll see you then.